Welcome to my next Shameless Season 10 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important if you are caught up to the point where I am and you're watching or watching Shameless, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you find that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be a detailed review, and I have seen this show all the way through at least one time. Some episodes I've seen more than others, and for the most part, I'm a big fan of Shameless. I know here towards the end, the final two seasons especially, the show takes a big dip in quality, but I think it has a solid seven to eight seasons on the show. But hey, maybe you disagree. I don't know, but I wanted to relive the show and uh, just talk about it with you guys in the comment section. So with all that in mind, actually, first before I say that, at the end of this video, with about 20 seconds left, right here, I'll put my Shameless series finale rant video. So if you've seen every single episode of Shameless, click there. That'll be the link to the video where I give my thoughts on the finale of Shameless. Again, you have to have watched all the episodes of Shameless. So with all that said... This will be Shameless, Season 10, Episode 11. The title of this episode is called Location, Location, Location. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. A detailed review, might I add. So we start off with Terry Milkovich, and he runs to the Gallagher house. Mickey, Mickey, I know you're in there, you fucking homo. You're never going to marry that Gallagher queer, you hear me? And Terry threatens to shoot Mickey and pulls a gun out. Mickey also pulls a gun out. And uh, they end up, Terry ends up walking the other way and Mickey ends up going back in the house. Ian asks Lip about moving to uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Uh, Liam tells Lip, Ian, and Mickey about needing Frank to sign his form to stay in school. M Mickey tells Lip, Milwaukee sucks ass. Frank is at the addiction therapy meeting, says before he goes... The last month has been a great journey, and uh, Frank brings up something about Walt Whitman, kind of a throwback to Breaking Bad, because they've talked about Walt Whitman and Breaking Bad. But now he's done with his time there. He served his time. He got off kind of easily, easy because of that judge. So Kev notices the place next to the alibi is vacant and uh, is for sale, and Kev kind of wants to go look into it. Uh, Faye pulls up to Frank as he's walking, uh, Faye wants to get coffee with Frank once she gets back from Puerto Rico. Lip finds out a neighbor died. Uh, Lip eyes the house, even though it's a shithole, but it would be a shithole very close to home. Carl's asked is he, if he's a cop by the other uh, garbage uh, worker, and he says, hell no. Uh, Julia got Debbie a tux. Uh, Mickey wants a real wedding now, and Mickey is trying... is turning into a bridezilla. Uh, he wants to make Terry Milkovich, his father, more miserable. Claudia asks uh, Debbie to go out for her birthday, which is the same night of the homecoming dance for Julia. Uh, Debbie says we'll see what she can do, and uh, Debbie says she gets to pick the restaurant. Uh, Frank goes to Faye's place, uh, as it's going to be unoccupied, because Faye is in Puerto Rico. He climbs the fence. It doesn't appear that anyone else is home, and Frank breaks a window with his elbow to get into the house. Carl is told to bust into a house and take a shit on the living room floor. Uh, Liam shows up at Faye's place, much to Frank's surprise. So Frank is good. Liam finds that out, and he's like, I need you to sign this so I can stay in school. And Frank's kind of annoyed, but he says he'll sign the paperwork, and then after that he'll re-abandon Liam because uh, he wants to attend to the house and have the house to himself. Lip talks to Brad about the uh, house that can be flipped. He's very interested in it. Tammy shows up and tells Lip he's being weird. Uh, Tammy tells Lip she just quit her job. So Tammy's really, like, adamant about going to M Milwaukee to get a house that's already paid for. Um, so Lip shows Tammy the house, and Tammy says this place is a shithole. Lip tells Tammy he feels guilty about taking charity, and Tammy says, you got to be kidding me. It's like 100 feet from your family's place. And then Tammy walks away. So Tammy's pissed off. Uh, Liam gets to keep going to school. I think that Tammy's pissed off because this house is a shithole, where the other house is actually a really nice house that no work needs to be done on it, other than 
you know, random, you know, fixer uppers here and there, but it's it's good. And uh, so Liam, he goes to school. Uh, Liam tells Frank that he misses him, uh, or gets to keep going to school. And then as Frank gets into the Rolls Royce and drives away, so Frank, you know, he tells Frank, "I miss you," and Frank, ah, whatever, and he gets in his Rolls Royce. That's obviously phase and drives back to that house. Stan Sandy stops by the Gallagher house with rings for Mickey. Sandy helps Debbie tie a bow tie. Debbie tells Sandy about her relationship with Julia and her, or Claudia and her daughter, Julia. Sandy calls her a slut, like kind of like, cool, you slut. An old lady at the flower place doesn't want to do business with Mickey and Ian due to them being homosexuals. It's a sin. The guy from the auction still wants a personal training session from Kev. His name is Lore. We just got a delivery. Follow me. Kev has him help carry in kegs and, like, use proper workout ways to, like, get in shape while carrying those kegs. Frank arrives back at the house. The door is actually open. Frank turns the music off and seems a bit concerned. Lorne, back to Kevin, you know, Kev, uh, pukes while lifting kegs, as he's been doing this for a little bit now. And Lauren says that that's the best workout he's ever had, and he posts this all over social media. So now Kev is known as this, like, fitness trainer guy and wants to start a, start a workout thing at the Alibi. While Frank's watching TV and music starts to play, it's clear Frank's not alone in this house. Frank calls Liam and, wa Liam and wants to spend more time with him all of a sudden, and Liam kind of blows him off. Uh, you know, he gave Frank a chance. Frank wanted to go back to the house. Didn't really want anything to do with Liam after he signed that stuff for him. So Frank's like, or Liam's like, whatever. Mickey starts freaking out. Uh, Liam tells Lip he found Frank. He tells Lip he's going to miss everyone being around. You know, Fiona's gone and he's upset about that. Uh, Debbie's out for dinner with Claudia and uh, her friends. She excuses herself to go to the bathroom and runs to the homecoming dance, which is uh, you know, right across the street for the most part. But it's a little bit of a workout to run back and forth there. Mickey gets mad that Ian didn't have his ring on. While Frank's taking a bath, he hears a noise. Turns out the gardener's at Faye's house. The gardener's not supposed to be there either. They both know that each other isn't supposed to be there, so they both agree to enjoy the house. Uh, he'll, Frank will take the second floor. Uh, you know, the uh, yard guy will take the basement. And then the first floor will be like kind of the combined floor that they can both, you know, hang out on. Um, Carl reports to his boss. Turns out that his boss, this guy that he's been reporting to, wants a slice of the money that the garbage men have been, you know, dealing with. Uh, Debbie leaves Julia to go back to dinner. She goes back to the dance. Julia wants to dance more, do more. Yard guy wants to smoke crystal meth. And Frank says it's going to be a good winter, yard guy. Claudia knows that Debbie's at the dance with Julia. She's the one that picked out the corsage that Debbie has on that she forgot to take off. And then Claudia and Julia get into it as Julia had told her that she's fucking Debbie only to piss her mom off. She's not a lesbian. She's just doing this to piss her mom off. As they argue, Debbie just walks away. Lip tells Tammy he rented the house. Says in Milwaukee, we have no one. This is my home. I thought I could do it. Uh, Lip says this place is important to him, says there's no way he could stay sober in Milwaukee, and Tammy walks away. Debbie and Sandy share a smoke. I think it's some weed. Uh, Carl is coming up to the door, and this is outside, of course, and he says he has to do drugs with garbage men to make them uh, believe him and think he's not a rat. Uh, Debbie asks Sandy if, we, if she wants to fuck, and she says, fuck yeah. So we get a couple, uh, you know, sh a couple is being shown the house that Carl took a shit in on the floor, and they wonder if they had a dog, and that's what ends this episode of Shameless. So, it, yeah, things are a little crazy, but not in a good way. I'll still give the episode a 7.0 out of 10. Like, all of a sudden, Debbie went from Claudia and, uh, you know, Julia to now she's Sandy. I can't remember if we see Claudia or Julia again, but I don't think we do. So that's just kind of crazy. My characters, the episode, I thought about giving it to Frank. For the males, I'm going to give it to Lip. And then for the females, I thought this is a really good character. I don't think we see her again. Maybe we do, though. But I liked Claudia as a character. I, I think she's a decent character on the show. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn if you're a fan of Shameless and you want to help me out the YouTube algorithm, please don't forget to Hulk smash the like button. Keep in mind, I cover a lot of stuff on this channel. Go to my playlist. You can check out all the stuff that I've watched or reviewed 
uh, detailed reviews, and I'm sure there's something else that you like. Share this video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Shameless. What would you rate it? And whom would be your male and female character of the episode? Remember to click right here for my Shameless Series Fanatic Rant video, assuming that you've seen every single episode of Shameless. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And you never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.